Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Joe Sent Me. My name is Joe and I am your host for today. Hey guys, I want to talk to you about some of the fragrances that I came back with from Istanbul, Turkey, my trip to Istanbul. I was there for about a month and <clears throat> of course I had a lot of time to explore and find things that I wanted to get. So these perfumes, everything that you're about to see here in this haul are perfumes that I bought while I was in Turkey. So let's get started. Let's begin with one of my favorite perfume shops out there, Nocta Cosmetics. They have a ton of perfumes there. They just opened up a new shop. And one of the first things I did when I went to go visit them was see what the new stuff is that they have. And of course they have a ton of new stuff. Uh, they carry brands like Algabra and uh, Regalian and uh, some of the Turkish brands as well. But then they also carry a bunch of really special brands. And I'll be talking about them again in future videos. So there are four perfumes in this bag. And I wanted to let you know what I got from Nocta. Okay, first things first. And you'll see the brands that they carry here. This one is my first perfume from Havre Gums. This is one that I've uh, smelled before and I just could not leave it behind. And it's called Tonka Majestic. And if you are looking for a beautiful, sweet, seductive perfume, uh, this one here is absolutely fantastic. And I mean, it is really fantastic. So here it is right here in all of its glory. Like I said, this is actually my first perfume from uh, Havre Gums and Magnetic Cap. And let's go ahead and spray it. By the way, if you're wondering why I sound like this, I, have a, I had a little allergy thing. I just took some Zyrtec, and so hopefully I'll feel better. Oh, it's so good. It is so, so good. I can still smell, by the way. But yes, this is so good. It is like an ambery sweet, but not too sweet, not too syrupy. It's a tonka bean. Uh, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. So, yeah, if you like this one, you're gonna, oh, you're gonna, oh, this is so good. So that's one of them. That's one of the goodies that I was like, I cannot leave this behind. I will say the theme of this video is really a lot of these are gonna be like perfumes that have been haunting me for a long time. And then finally I bought them, you know? So let's talk about these next three. These next three are from the exact same company, exact same house. And these are three that uh, I smelled while I was in Italy a few years ago, and then I was like, oh man, I just don't wanna leave these behind. I see them here, they have them. Um, it's from a clothing brand, a very high-end Italian bespoke clothing brand, um, and they make great stuff. So if you wanna call it a designer, call it designer, designer niche, whatever. But if you have any experience with Zili, uh, Zili is, just really, really good stuff. So um, I got the last bit of the the last bottle that he had of this, the, the blue one here, which is a blue titanium. And uh, it's a freshie. It's a freshie. I will say some people may look at, the, look at this brand and, and be like, yeah, I've smelled it before. They smell kind of generic. I feel like there's a little bit more to it than just this designer smell. But I, I do feel like this is a great everyday compliment getting perfume here. So uh, it is an EDP as well. So I didn't want to leave that one behind because I got the other two as well. This is what the packaging looks like. This one is Zili Queer Imperial and it slides open like this. How cool is that? And then the top opens up like this. So it's really nice because you actually could use this as a travel, a travel pouch. And then uh, here it is, Queer Imperial. Of course, this is a leather fragrance. So let me just spray it to remind me of how good it was. 
I will say this was not a loud leather perfume either. Not loud at all. Ooh, but it smells, it's lovely. Now that I'm smelling it, it's like, I can really smell it, it's lovely. Yeah, that's really good. Nice reminder of why I liked it and why I picked it up too. So good. So got that. All right, let's move on to the last one. And again, those of you who are familiar with this brand know just how good these are. This is my favorite one. This is Cashmere Noir. I love this one. I remember this one just, I just could not let it go. I just could not let this one go. Cashmere Noir is sophisticated. Sorry, this, this cap is really on. I'm going to pull the, this, the collar right off of it. Um really sophisticated and and i know this is going to be another one of those compliment getting oh yeah just beautiful this is this is definitely like an amber this is an amber this is absolutely an amber uh it's a it's a nice dark ambery it's it's sexy it's absolutely sexy and I, and I, I mean, for these are like 120 bucks. I just could not leave these behind. So I now have all the Zillies, except for the new stuff they literally just announced. They don't have them there in Turkey yet, but I did my research and it, it sounds like I'm going to have to get those too. So, um, sorry, I'm just making a mess here. This is not going to be cut. This video is not going to be edited. I'm literally just going to drop it the way it is. So just letting you know, if you see mistakes, if you see me sniffling, I've got an allergy, but I'm going to clear it all out. So that was Nocta Cosmetics. My buddy Muhib will take good care of you if you're in Istanbul, Turkey. They have actually three locations, one in Baghdad, Kadeshi, another one uh, in Nishantashe, or Nishantashe, that's how you say it. And then this one is a different town. This is like uh, Diyarbakir. Diyarbakir. So that is that is one of those. Okay, speaking of brands that haunted me. Speaking of brands that haunted me. This is a must visit brand while you're in Istanbul, Turkey. Now I did pick up one perfume from this house a couple years ago when I was there. But this series I did not touch. This series I did not touch. And I was mad at myself for not bringing it home. So I have three. Ladies and gentlemen, I have three perfumes from this collection. And let me show them to you. So first one is O Mystique. This is from the white collection. They have a white collection, a black collection. And these price points for this brand is actually quite like really, really fair. This is like uh like $60 a bottle but i mean look at this presentation just beautiful right check that out and then here it is right here beautiful presentation love that with the white sides wooden cap the gold plated uh metal you know the metal part here the the metal label Really nice. Of course, I pulled the collar right off of it. Doesn't matter. Oh, Mystique. Oh, to P. Oh, to P. <laughs> oh, to P. Yeah, EDP. So nice. And I know that they, they marketed the white line to like it saying that that was the feminine line and uh, uh, the black line is the masculine line. But I believe every single one of these is unisex. That's why I got this one. So good. It's a nice woody sandalwood, uh, sort of a sweet sandalwood is the best way to describe that one. Uh, the next one that I got is this here from the Black Series. This is JC Reboul. Oh my goodness. Such a good one. Again, such a good one. Let me pull it out. It's inside, it's packed really well with the foam. Really well. And these traveled with me all the way from Istanbul, Turkey. 
Now this is the black line, so you can see it's got the black edges, the black wooden cap, the black label instead of the gold label. It is a metal label too. So it's really nice, I mean, for $60. And they have uh, Atelier Red Bull uh, kiosks at many of the malls out there. So you can find an Atelier, if you're ever in Istanbul, you can find an Atelier Red Bull there. So good, oh my God, this is so good. This is definitely like an amber, loving my ambers. I will wear it year round. This is definitely an amber. Nice spicy amber, by the way. Very nice, very, very nice. So that takes care of that. Tossing my boxes down real quick to make room for the third and final from Atelier Red Bull. And that one is Oud Royale, Oud Royale. And of course, I cannot leave an Atelier Red Bull without Oud. So I gotta get that. This is again, the high-end line of Atelier Red Bull. And same concept, black sides, black cap. Just spraying it to remind me of how much I love them. Of course, it reminds me of when I was there, right? Super nice, not a stanky oud by any means. It is extremely wearable oud. Uh, this one is more of a, uh, call it a resinous. Yeah, call it a resinous woody. Super nice, super nice. So that was Atelier Red Bulbo. Wait, I have more. I have more. There's another store that is in Istanbul and I've sort of been passing it up, just kind of like, eh, I'll just walk by it. Don't know, you know, if I'm gonna get anything, but I walked by it anyway. And this time I was like, you know what? I gotta go see what's inside. This is a, call it a high-end department store, but it's really just a clothing brand, uh, Vaco. Uh, Vaco is, is, you could say it's a luxury uh, clothing store in uh, Istanbul or in Turkey. And they're everywhere in all the fancy malls. So I decided, and they have a men's line and a women's line. Uh, they just came out with a line, and all of it is unisex to me, but they just came out with a line of perfume, a single perfume, by the way, called Infinity For Us. They used to have an Infinity For Men, Infinity For Her, but now they have an Infinity For Us. So I wanted to snatch that up because after I smelled it, I really, really liked it. So this one was about the equivalent of $80, $85. Very cool looking bottle. And if you saw the Infinity for her and or if you saw the Infinity for him, you're, you're going to realize that this is an amalgamation of both of those bottles. There's uh, details about this cap that are in the female and the male uh, version of Infinity. And to be honest, I liked neither of them more than this. I actually liked this version of Infinity. Oh, and the atomizer is amazing. Yeah, super nice. I like this version of Infinity more than the men's and more than the women's by themselves. So <clears throat> this one is definitely like a spicy floral. Um rose for sure I, I smell incense but we have cassis raspberry uh, angelica seed anise cinnamon turkish rose geranium bulgarian rose chamomile vetiver patchouli incense sandalwood oud from laos amorous labdanum amber musk uh there's a, like a ton of stuff in this yeah, amber, musk, elemi, black pepper, pink pepper, clove oil, lots of stuff. Can you tell this is this feels like a super nice niche perfume, but it's like 80 some dollars. So it's from the Vaco brand. It's their in-house brand. Presentation's lovely. I could not pass this up. Again, it's a memory of Istanbul that I wanted to take with me. And you can only find this at Vaco. Only find this at Vaco. So uh, this one is called Infinity For Us. Highly recommend it. Again, I bought this there. 
and it was worth it. Now, the last two, last two that I'm going to talk about, last two, last two stores, um, last perfumes I'm going to talk about are going to be ones that haunted me, haunted me, uh, and very recently too. So let's start with, let's start with Sephora, okay? Let's start with Sephora. So Sephora in Istanbul, Sephora in Turkey, I have to say is probably the one of the most impressive Sephora's when it comes to fragrances and perfume I've ever seen. Um, they have so many amazing brands there, like so many houses, like it really feels like you're in a Saks or you're in a Neiman Marcus. Like they have lots of, lots of nice high-end designer, high-end niche. And I was very impressed. So when I was in Paris, story time, when I was in Paris, I discovered a line of perfumes from Bulgari that I was so, so impressed and I wanted them so badly. And I saw them at Turkey. I saw them in Turkey. I saw them in Istanbul. And this is the series that allows you to do like layering. So this is the Allegra series from Bulgari. And I only picked two of them, although there's a third that I really, really want. Maybe a fourth that I want, but I picked up two because they had a, a really good deal for Father's Day. They had 15% off. Um, and it was a really good deal. And already the, the prices over there in Turkey were better than in the United States. So I, and even better than when I wasn't, when I was in Paris for this brand, but, um, I picked up vanilla and I picked up patchouli. These are two that I could not live without. These are two of my favorite notes, but I wanted to unbox these for you so you could see how cool they are. First of all, I love the little baggie. Love the little baggie. And these are small bottles. Uh, these were meant for layering. These were meant for layering. Or you could just wear them stand alone. Look how pretty they are. That is so beautiful. So beautiful. I think these are 50 ml. Love the Bulgari pouch. So playful. So fun. I'm going to keep the pouch for sure. Because they're going to come in handy when I have to take home samples uh, with me. So let's do the patch real quick. Just to be reminded, again, these can be worn by themselves. These can be layered. You could even use this as an enhancer towards some other perfume that you're wearing. God, this is beautiful. God, it's beautiful. And if I'm correct, I believe Alberto Maria's, he's behind all of these. So anything Bulgari is probably his work. Uh, here's the vanilla. Uh, the pouch is identical. I'm just gonna yank this vanilla out. Pull it out so you can see. The bottles are identical as well. And of course, you could use it with their own perfumes. They have their own, Bulgari has their own series of perfumes. And I think this was meant to amplify or accentuate or even make it your own. Make it kind of your own, make your own perfume out of these elements, basically. So this is vanilla. Not a boozy vanilla, it's actually a light vanilla. Very vanilla, vanilla. <laughs> and what I mean by very vanilla, vanilla, I mean like not a boozy vanilla, not a very uh, loud vanilla. Actually a very docile and very uh, neutral vanilla. That's the best way to say it. Neutral vanilla that, that I think will, again, enhance any perfume, any, any perfume, and uh, give you a great sensation there. So again, these were these were haunting me for a while, and I saw them there. They had 15% off, and I had to get it. All right, I have more. I have one more one more for you. This is also something I was not expecting to get while I was out there. And Bayman, for those of you who don't know, Bayman is the department store in Turkey that is the high-end department store. So consider this your Neiman Marcus, your Bergdorf your Saks, this is Bayman. So when you go to Bayman, you can expect to find high-end luxury goods there. They have, I believe, Bayman has the best perfume department 
of any department store in all of Turkey. Bayman has the best department store when it comes to perfumes. And now I'm going to show you what I got from there. So story time. Real quick, I don't want this video to be too long. So I, uh, before we flew through Indianapolis, but we had a day to kind of chill and do our own thing. So we, my wife and I, went to the Saks in Indianapolis and we were walking by the Killian area and I, she wanted to spray herself with Love Don't Be Shy. Uh, Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy. She wanted to spray herself with that because that was one of her favorite perfumes. I really like it as well. Love the perfume. And she picks up a bottle and sprays herself with it. And I don't, I think she just didn't realize that it was not Love Don't Be Shy, the, the regular version. And I smelled it on her. I was like, oh my, is that you, honey? Is that you? Is that you? And she's like, yeah, I think I sprayed the wrong one. I was like, no, no, no. You sprayed the right one. Trust me. I love this. I absolutely have to get this. This is the new version of Love Don't Be Shy. Special blend 2022. Okay. And this has got rose and oud in it. Rose and oud. And I was blown away. I was blown away by how good this was. Like, really good. Oh, my God. I can't wait to wear this. So, I saw this at Bayman. They had it there. They had a deal where when you buy two... So one by one thing, it's 15% off. By two things, it was like 20% off. Plus, the deal was better over there anyway to begin with. So I got two. And then, uh, of course, I got also loved. I got bought for her Love Don't Be Shy. But I wanted her to have the extreme version because I feel like the extreme version is, is really good. But I think I now want the regular version now too. But the extreme I liked more than the regular because I love the tuberose. It's so creamy, so milky, oh, so good. But what I love about these is that they don't duplicate themselves. I don't feel like, oh, this is just a slightly different DNA. Like these are different, completely different. And you can wear all, you can have all three of them and all three would be different. You can have all three and all three would be different. And I think I may have, I may get the third one. My wife wasn't too crazy about the extreme Although I loved it, but holy cow, the special blend, y'all, if you love Rose Oud, you must get this special blend. I was so blown away by it. I could not stop thinking about it. And together in Turkey, after the deal for Father's Day out there, together they were the price of one. So it's almost like buy one, get one free. So I was like, no brainer. I'm getting this. I don't care. I'm getting it. So that's what I did. And that's my story. I've got so much more to show you, but we're just going to end the video right here. If you saw something you like, let me know in the comments below. If you have questions about uh, other Turkish brands or whatever, let me know. Uh, but I've got some more video coming up your way. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.